Russia had called for this Security Council session to once again protest against the United Kingdom's allegations that Moscow was behind the nerve agent attack in Salisbury in early March. Now, Russian Ambassador Vasily Nabenzia denied Russia was behind the attack and suggested that Great Britain was fabricating stories and jumping to conclusions, and also saying that uh, the possible bringing up the possibility, rather, that other intelligence agencies from other countries may have been responsible for it. We have told our British colleagues that you're playing with fire and you'll be sorry. This is a coordinated, very well-prepared campaign, prepared in advance. It's not by chance. The main goal is clear. It is to discredit and even delegitimize Russia. Now, the United Kingdom counted back, saying that it was not taking any lectures on morality from a country that has done so much to block an investigation on chemical weapons in Syria. Now, the United Kingdom also slammed Russia for a proposed joint investigation. Mr. President, there are several ways to view this joint investigation. I think the metaphor that I find most apt is that of an arsonist turned firefighter. But in this particular instance, the arsonist wishes to investigate his own fire. Russia added that the nerve agent in question, known as Novichok, is not copyrighted by Russia and was a term uh, invented by other nations for a range of toxic substances which have also been developed by other countries. Now, this is, of course, the latest chapter in the diplomatic fallout from that nerve agent attack, one that has seen countries uh, across the United, across the European Union, rather, as well as the United States and Russia, expelling each other's diplomats. Li Ling Tan, CGTN, New York.